Okay everyone, welcome back to another Foxtech video and in this one we're gonna discuss how you can turn off the passcode on your iPhone. Whether you're looking to disable the auto passcode temporarily or permanently, I'm gonna walk you through the process step by step. Now, it is su suitable, I mean, this tutorial or steps work on most of the newer iPhones and with the newer versions, so obviously update your iOS. I mean, let's get started. At first, you need to open up the settings app on your iPhone, and this is where all of the preferences and everything is configured. Once you've opened up the settings, scroll down and tap on Face ID and Passcode, or Touch ID and Passcode, depending on your iPhone. You'll be prompted to enter your current passcodes to access these settings. So go ahead and make sure you go inside, and you'll find several options related to your Face ID and Passcode settings. Scroll down until you find the option that says turn passcode off tap on this option and to confirm you want to turn off the passcode you'll need to enter it one more time and perhaps it will ask you for apple id password too this might be an additional security measure which is supposed to ensure that you are making this these changes intentionally once you have gone through the process, the passcode on your iPhone will be disabled. This means that you'll no longer need to enter it to unlock your device. However, it's important to remember that this also makes your device less secure and in case you want to re-enable it, you can just follow the very same steps and turn the passcode on. But there are also other options available if you don't want to or don't like your current way of using the passcode so if you for example have a six digit passcode you can change it to a four digit one for quicker access uh, as an alternative option you can create an alphanumerical passcode which combines letters and numbers for enhanced security so perhaps you might want to do that instead but it is up to you just keep your security and safety in mind and then just customize your iphone any way you want Hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.